I don't know. I honestly don't even know what to say. I hope you all enjoyed and I'm glad I was finally able to tell you. Okay guys, so obviously by the title of this video, you know what is about to be talked about. And I, I owe it to you guys, honestly, that I explain what's going on because a lot of you have been wondering and you continue to ask what had happened in the past few weeks. And it's not like I've been putting off making this video. I just didn't really know an appropriate time to make it because a lot of stuff has been going on. So you know what, I'm just gonna go back to when it all began. Back in September, whenever I just got back from New York, my dad was watching the YouTube videos that Jack and I make. And there was an inappropriate comment made while we were going mini golfing because a ball went into an alligator's mouth and you can see there was a joke that was made. And my dad wasn't very happy about that inappropriate joke. But my dad's kind of, he really cares about me. He cares what I do because he's seen a lot of stuff that has happened in his line of work. He worked on a task force, a drug task force with the FBI. And he's seen the worst of the worst. And so of course, after he saw these inappropriate jokes, my Instagram got hacked. So this did not help anything whatsoever because the hacker decided to pretty much just give away my personal information. So like my phone number that got out and he got literally all of my social media. It was all gone. I was literally sitting on my computer just watching as every single picture got deleted and it was literally one by one it wasn't all at once so i was just there helpless and i tried to look it up online like on instagram like the support and the care to get it back i couldn't even find instagram's support email or anything and i knew who the hacker was because he posted a thing on it like saying to follow himself but luckily, Jack knew some people from Instagram, Snapchat, and all that, and he was able to get my channel, not my channel, my Instagram and all my social media back. So as this was all going on, a mother contacted Jack and was pretty much just asking him to help her daughter pretty much just help grow her YouTube channel so that she could get more of a following, better YouTube channel, and all that. But pretty much one of the mom's conditions was that if Jack, if she paid Jack to help her daughter, that he would kind of have to step back from me and let her pr daughter be the, his priority. Because as you guys know, Jack pretty much runs my YouTube channel. He edits my videos. He does all that stuff because I honestly am really busy with school. I have two jobs and so I don't have that much time for that. So he really helps me with that. And of course, it wouldn't be fair to the mom who's actually paying Jack to help with her daughter's YouTube channel for me to just get all of this for free. So she was just asking for her daughter to be the priority. And since Jack and I also have our own YouTube channel together, this would kind of be hard. So Jack said no to that. And so that didn't end up happening. As this was happening, there was a really inappropriate comment on YouTube that happened. And the same mom screenshotted it which that wasn't too big of a deal. It didn't really have any effect or anything until this screenshot was sent to a bunch of other people and parents and it didn't really have any major effect immediately, but then it was sent to my dad eventually. And as you guys know, my dad was already on edge about me being on social media. And so this pretty much just kind of no more for you. You don't need to be making these videos. You don't need to do any of this. So let's just stop this right now. And so it was because of that screenshot that I could not be doing any more of these videos. And so that's why I was kind of absent from the world of YouTube for a while. And it actually was longer than it seems because Jack and I actually had pre-recorded videos that we were planning on posting. So once those were gone, I was just gone from all the videos for a while. I know as a fact that this screenshot was meant to sabotage me because they knew if my dad would eventually find out that everyone else knew about this, that I would not be able to do this, these videos anymore. So it, and if, even if the parent did have a problem with how inappropriate the comment was, they could have just easily sent it to my dad and, and just told him like, hey, this is not good, like, you should probably talk to your daughter about this. But instead, this parent let it 
just kind of circle around until it just eventually found its way to my dad. So I just had to quit doing videos, which I honestly hated. It was awful because I was just watching people like ask like, oh, what happened? Because yes, Jack did post a video kind of touching the details of why I left but it didn't really fully explain it. But I just watched people's reaction and it was honestly really hard not to just full on tell everyone what happened. But I read all the comments. It really did mean a lot that even though you guys didn't know what was happening, you were able to support me and support Jack. And it really did help because I was in a situation where I couldn't just keep on doing videos because I am under 18 and my dad specifically told me not to be posting videos and since I do still live at home and once again I am under 18 I legally couldn't just go behind his back and post videos because then that would have been a mess that could have easily been like a legal thing where he could have made me delete them and it just really wasn't worth it so I listened and just didn't post anything for a while and I didn't make videos and it was awful it really was because YouTube's my outlet I get to just talk and be myself to you guys and I just get to meet different people I get to read these comments and it just makes me really happy but that was all kind of ripped away I honestly wrote like literally everything that happened on my phone it could literally be made into a book but yeah obviously I am back here I'm so happy to be back here I was able to talk with my dad we kind of got a better understanding of each other. We just really had, this sounds super cheesy, but we had heart to heart conversations. We were able to see each other's perspectives and eventually I was slowly able to dip my feet back into the world of YouTube. But now I honestly just have to be more careful about what I say. It was a learning experience, especially with like the hacking and all that stuff. A summary of everything that happened and I was honestly way too stressed to make this video sooner because I didn't know what to do. I was kind of lost, I guess you could say. I was scared, I was nervous that I wouldn't ever be able to do this again. And my life, I wouldn't say revolves around this, but this is a major factor in what I do every day. Like I'm constantly thinking like, oh, what video can I do next? Like, oh, this is a good Instagram picture. Because yes, that's what I do. I'm a social media influencer. I do YouTube channels with, or YouTube videos with my boyfriend. I have my own YouTube channel. Like that's just what I do. And just having that gone and like, just ripped away because of someone who decided to just think that this would be a good payback because they didn't get their way or whatever. It just opens your eyes a lot. People thought like, oh, is she pregnant? No. Are you getting bullied? I guess that's a form of bullying. There's just a lot was going on. So yeah, that is the story of why I wasn't able to do YouTube or anything like that. I'm sorry I keep smiling because whenever I am in an awkward situation or when I feel like I'm about to break down crying, I have the tendency to just smile and act super happy. So yeah, I'm just trying my best not to break down right now. I hope you all enjoyed and I'm glad I was finally able to tell you. I don't know, I honestly don't even know what to say other than just try and make some more videos, make sure everyone's happy. So, yeah, I'm sorry. Everything just got like super jumbled at the end because like I got emotional and now I'm just smiling because I'm trying not to cry anymore. Which I am sorry about that and I probably said I'm sorry like 10 times. So again, I apologize for that. But I'm glad I've been able to just be honest with you guys and tell you what happened because it was really, really, really stressful to be honest and it just really sucked. Okay, I'm gonna stop trying to explain things over and over again because I have explained everything. So I'm just glad that you guys know it now. So I will see you in the next video and I hope it is a lot more happy than this. It will be, I promise. So I hope you all have a very, very nice day. The end.